Hey guys! Well, it feels like I've not actually sat in front of the camera for ages. It's been a very hectic couple of weeks. I was at the conference last week promoting inclusion, transforming lives for Paris. And this week, in the space of two days, I've been to Glasgow and Edinburgh. I'm actually just back from Edinburgh just now. I'm still in the process of editing my video for the conference. I have to wait for someone else to send me a video of my talk because it got filmed by a camera crew at the conference. So I'm still waiting to receive the video for that. They see me rolling. This week is a reflective video though, because a year ago today, which is the 24th of June, I graduated from the University of Dundee. I can't believe it's been a whole year already. It feels like just yesterday that I was choosing where I was going to study. Time definitely does go faster as you get older. The day of my graduation was hands down one of the best days ever and I think my family and friends would agree with that. I was a bit nervous on the days leading up to graduation and the morning of but I don't know if I've mentioned before I am quite an anxious and nervous person anyway so there's no change there. I think my nerves on this day though were more targeted towards the ceremony because once I got my degree, I was fine. Or maybe it was the glass of wine that I had during my lunch that helped just calm the nerves. Who knows? No, I think I was more nervous about the ceremony because I was afraid that my wheelchair would, the power would trash in it halfway across the stage. And believe me, there is no way someone would be able to push this wheelchair. So I zoomed across that stage as fast as I could go so that I didn't give the chair the satisfaction of thrashing on me. As I said, my nerves had calmed down and luckily it was a lovely sunny day so we got plenty of photographs to remember the day. Once we had our lunch to celebrate my graduation, we attended the garden party at the Union. The night after graduation was the Drad Ball where my friends from university and I celebrated the last four years of studying. It was a great ending to an amazing four years. I've not really spoken much about university on my channel yet and I did speak about it a lot at the conference last week so I won't divulge too much into my university life. Even though I had bullet points for the talk at the conference I can't really remember some stuff that I said it's all a bit of a blur, so we'll see when I get sent the video. Anyway, yes, university. I can honestly say that I hardly had any problems at university in regards to accessibility or factors including my disability. If a lecture theatre was unaccessible, then it got moved to somewhere where I could get to. The lecture staff were all great at supporting me. Also, any equipment that I needed, the disability service staff helped me to apply for that through SAS. One piece of equipment that really helped Wales at university was my dictaphone, where I was able to audio record all my lectures so that I could listen to them uh, at my own pace. I can't write that much, 
I can write a little, but not that much. So I had a scribe with me, which was my helper, during the lectures. There were a lot of challenges at university, which I talked about in my uh, conference talk last week, so I won't really talk about them. But they weren't to do with academic, they were more personal issues that I had. So they kind of didn't help at university. I did get asked if I wanted to study for longer, so five or six years. I could break up a year into two years. That was always an option when I first started university. But once I got going, I wanted to graduate with my friends. So I was like, no, I'd rather try and do it in four years. And I did. I managed to do it in four years. I had a lot of support from my parents, uh, family and friends and the staff at the university and staff at my high school uh, before I attended university. There are some people that thought I wouldn't manage university, that it would be too hard for me, but I did. And now that I want to try and show other people that they can do it too, impairment or not, you can do whatever you want to do. But with a disability, sometimes you get pushed to do the easier option. When you know yourself that you are able to do more, but sometimes people just see your disability and are thinking, no, you can't do that. I took people's advice on board, but I also uh, took my own opinions and I pushed myself to do what I wanted to do. I didn't get the grades at high school that I needed to go to university. However, I did summer school over the June, July of 2012. And I got into university through that with four A's. So I knew I could do it. I just needed to push myself. And going to summer school was good because it gave me uh, insight into what university would be like before I actually started. So yes, whatever you want to do in life, just go out there and do it. You can take people's advices on board, but at the end of the day, it's your life. Just do what you want to do. And I'm so happy that I did go to university because I met some great people and it was a great experience. Don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you are looking into university life just now but are unsure of what it would be like if you have got a disability, please don't hesitate to get in touch and I'd be more than happy to share my experience with you. I hope you all have a great week and I will hopefully have the video up of my conference next week. And I shall see you later. Bye!